means what does that mean read the instructions every time every time there are going to be new instructions you will have a new word count so maybe one question will tell you no more than two words another will tell you no more than three words so always check the word count check what kind of question is given to me today we have three different types of questions name of youtube channel ielts prep by scholar okay right so read the instructions every time then what next for all types of questions my strategy is always task before text what does this mean can someone tell me what does this mean what does this mean it's a super you know super short phrase it's very beautiful very good sarthak i think yes sarthak is from my batch yes task what does a task mean task means an activity that has been given to you that means the what is the task that is given to you the question is given to you so you should always read the question before you read what is the passage the the text is the passage so every time read the questions first always read the question first why when i read the questions what do i do i underline or highlight my keywords what are keywords quickly can someone tell me what are good keywords what are good keywords a uh, vocab no vocabulary no in the reading module what are good keywords what words should you underline in the question which will help you find the answer very good two types of words one is capital letters and the second is numbers why why are these key good keywords because think about it if i show you a really long passage and in that really long passage you have the name taj mahal you will it will pop out it will be easy to locate you'll even from a distance you'll be able to see taj mahal because the t is capital the m is capital right so it's easier to locate that is why you should underline these words perfect underline keywords scan scan for them and find your answer detailed reading after that all right so i'm hoping that you know the strategies for most of the questions because i'm not discussing all the strategies all right remember in certain question types the answers are in sequence which questions are those you should know them by now because you're coming for a mock test here so i hope you know which answers are in sequence for example true false not given sentence completion right then read the statement underline the keyword find a synonym sometimes you will underline the keyword taj mahal maybe there's a synonym maybe the passage will say the mausoleum right so make sure you look for key synonyms also right next convert okay this is for another question right all right great so done with strategies let's begin this is your mock test for today here you can see it so you can see there are 10 questions in total after passage 3 three different types of questions are given one is a short answer question the instructions say no more than three words the second is can you tell me what kind of a question is this which paragraph contains the following information what is this question called matching headings no matching no not matching heading very good matching information perfect so this is also as quite um, you know similar to matching heading so if i were you i would do this at the end isn't it all right and the last one is sentence completion question all right perfect Eight. So read your questions once, everybody. Mark the keywords of the questions. Mark your keywords. Think about. Read the question. See what is your keyword here.
Okay, I hope you've read. I'm going to quickly discuss the keywords. Look at the first question. It says, how much of the food Canadians buy contains GM ingredients? Capital letter. There are two capital letters, Canadians. Also GM. And what is my answer going to be? How much? How much? That means my answer is a, how much is a number? Perfect. Second question. What method did farmers use to improve the quality of crops before genetic modification became possible. Tell me the keywords. Now there is no capital letter. What's the keyword in the second question? Very good. So answer will be the name of the method. Yes, answer is the name of the method. Keyword is farmers and before genetic modification. So something before that. All right, third question. What chemical substances may be less necessary as a result of the genetic modification? The answer is a chemical substance. Answer is a chemical substance. What is the keyword? Less necessary. What will be less necessary? Right? And that what is going to be the name of a chemical substance. Perfect. Are we understanding why? Have you understood why chemical substance is not the keyword? Because the answer will be chemical substance, but the word chemical substance may or may not be there. Right? Perfect. So let's uh, move to the passage. First, let's find these three and then we'll, uh, you know, again, do the same underlying keywords and look for the remaining. Okay. Here is your passage. Very good, everybody. Oh, great. Now we have uh, students from YouTube. Good, Harshwardhan. Yes, Haneet. Correct. Very good. First question, mostly everybody is correct. Perfect, Prashant, Shivani. Very good, Sharfuddin. See, some of you are writing wrong capitals. Sharfuddin, please use all capitals. It will help you. Bhavna, incomplete. Yes, Vanna. Alpesh, answer is incomplete. Good, Harita. All right, Tushar. 
गुड जय गुड हरी गुड सुखप्रीत सार्थक नो दैट इज नॉट रिटर्न इन द पैसेज दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट गुड अनघा Yes. Uh, question says, what method did farmers use? That means it's going to be the name of a method. Good, Ajay. All right. Let's discuss the first three. We are going to discuss the first three, right? Because you have only twenty minutes for three pass uh, for one passage. All right. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Uh, what did we do? We marked keywords. So we are going to look for them. first was canadians here i found it most canadians now second keyword was gm perfect so here i found uh, gm ingredients right gm ingredients now it says in addition 75% of processed foods contain gm ingredients right here it says how much food how much of the food that canadians buy contains gm ingredients so here my answer is going to be 75% right so i'm just going to write 75% or in this case percentage symbol is there in the passage so you can use it otherwise avoid it so even if you've written percent as the symbol that is okay all right okay now next question my keyword was what method did farmers use farmer was my keyword scan for it here i found it farmers right uh, before genetic modification became possible so farmers and plant breeders have used genetically modified foods for centuries what about before this time question is asking what you they what did they do, do with before this right so here they says uh they have refined the foods we eat they have in the past through selective cross breeding combining different types of wheat and eliminating weaker varieties so what is the name of the method the name of the method is selective cross breeding i don't know somebody said pollination i don't know where you picked it from today genetic engineering see the next line is saying today genetic engineering it's no longer just a case of cross pollination but the previous sentence is telling you that farmers used to do selective cross breeding right before genetic modification okay the name of the method all right so my second answer is selective cross breeding okay any doubts in this question you can uh, can i write off uh, that will one two uh 75% of processed foods mm, not required you don't need it because it's not required simple short answer question means as less as possible okay third yes uh, yes can i write only cross breeding no shubham you have to write selective cross breeding that's the entire meaning name cross breeding means just breeding cross breeding 
Selective means being selective in crossbreeding. So if you don't write that word, the entire thing changes. That will be wrong, Susan. See why? Because it's not required. Simple. If I ask you a question, what is your name? What are you going to say? Diksha or I am Diksha? It's a short answer question. You're going to write Diksha. Only what is required. Answer in short. So anything which is not required, if you're writing it, it won't be answered correct. No, Shubham, that's not correct. Okay, third question. What about selective breeding in the first paragraph? Okay, what about it? First of all, uh, okay. Uh, does your first paragraph say that farmers used to improve the quality of crops before genetic modification became possible using selective breeding? It doesn't say that, that farmer, farmers used to, right? So no, you can't pick that. Also remember, short answer questions, mostly in order. So chances are that the answer is below. Okay. All right. Okay, next question. Uh, what chemical substances may be less necessary as a result of the genetic modification of agricultural products? My keyword is less necessary. Perfect. So here I found it. Um, so here it says, uh, as a result of the genetic modification of agricultural pr products, right? So that means after what chemical substance will be not needed, less necessary means not needed after genetic modification, right? So here it says, um, they wonder if the foods that come out of genetic modification are safe. Scientists say they are completely safe. Genetic modification, GM, is just a way of adding genes, right? Making it possible for them to survive, the plants to survive, without the use of, that means without the need for, with no necessity for, pesticides. So what is the chemical substance that would be not required after genetic modification? That chemical substance is copy, paste, pesticides. All right. Okay. Any question in this one? Great. Good job done, everyone. Let's move forward to question number four to seven. Let's move forward. Uh, now, these are matching information questions. So, technically, honestly, I would re uh, recommend that you do these at the end. But if you want to do them, honestly, I would say that, you know, do eight to ten first and then do four to seven. For, uh, is that okay with everyone? That's the strategy you should follow. So, you know, you will have some idea which paragraph contains which information. All right. Before we move to questions 8 to 10 now, let's, this is how you should tackle your, you know, your mock test. That if you have these questions, you do them later on, isn't it? To save time. Now, before we tackle these questions, however, I quickly wanted to give you something for free. You already know what it is. So no brownie points for guessing. It's the beginner's course, the IELTS Foundation course. So if you are a beginner, if you feel you need a lot of help, this is a really good course to go for. Prabhjit sir is taking it. You can get it for absolutely free. Let me share the link with you of the course. Right, I'm going to share the link. So just go to leapscholar.com, log in with your phone number. Once you have logged in, you can use my code DM Live to get it for free. Yes, just sharing my link with you in a second. All right. There you go. There is the link to join the course. Okay, so yes, um, I saved something for you for the last, which is my own course. So yes, my course is also releasing on 31st, which is Monday. And it is a, an evening course, 7 to 8 p.m. 
So after you're done with your day, your college, your job, you can grab a cup of hot steaming, piping hot coffee and join me. These are going to be live classes, 20 sessions. You will, all four modules will be covered. Speaking, writing, listening and um, reading. Weekly mock tests, that means every Saturday you're going to have a mock test. So there are total four mock tests. And three of these mock tests contain three writing evaluations. Along with that, you also get three speaking evaluations, which are one-on-one -on -one with a trained examiner. So he will tell you where you're going, what you're doing well, where you need to improve, all of those things. And you also get a certificate of completion after the course ends. In case you need help with grammar, you will get daily grammar classes and daily doubt solving sessions. Also, if you're going abroad, you need help shortlisting your universities, you haven't decided, you can get free counseling as well. If you haven't enrolled in IELTS right now and you decide to do it through us, you can get 1000 rupees cash back also. So imagine 15,000 for the exam and you'll get 1000 back. So it'll cost you less. Isn't it great? Hi, love the perfect. All right. So join me. Use the code DM live. Again, I'm going to put my link in the chat box. Make sure you are logged in. If you are not logged in with your phone number, it will show you as invalid. All right. So please log in into the site with your phone number. All right. Everybody. How do I book through Leap Scholar? So yes, once you join, I'll guide you through it. Okay. I want all of you to join me to become my students. And please do not, uh, you know, let this slip. There are few seats left. It's going to be full super soon. Don't miss the opportunity. I don't want you to feel that I couldn't join you. Right. So please join me. Oh, hi, Deeksha. My namesake is here. Yes, it is. Uh, the course is good for general students as well. Okay. Um, so that is something interesting today. I didn't give any strategies at the beginning, Sayyid. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nidhi is already my student. Uh, no, I do not take morning classes. I'm not a morning person. I'm a night owl. So you'll always see me in the evening. So yes, repeat information of 1000 rupees. Of course, in, we are Indians. We always catch the money, right? So yes, if you join me, in the course and you register for the IELTS exam with us, if you book it, if you enroll in the exam through us, you can get 1000 rupees cash back. So we'll book the exam on the IDP website with for you. We'll do it for you. We'll do your work and we'll pay you also for it. Shows invalid code. You need to log in. Please log in before you put the code. Log in with your phone number. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. You can or you will. You will. If you, yes, if you book through us, you will. All right. Sukhpreet, uh, okay, the link on YouTube. All right. Let me share it with you as well. Uh, Sukhpreet, you can put the code DM live. Uh, give a random tip for speaking. Lovdeep, why do you want a random trip, uh, tip? Join me in the course and I'll give you good tips not random, specific. Okay, perfect. So yes, let's not spend any more time not working for a lot of you because you're not logged in. Make sure you log in with your phone number and you can only book any one course for free. So if this timing is not convenient for you, you can choose another timing. We have a lot of timings available. You can choose any, any one course, absolutely free, zero rupees. Just make sure you are logged in with your phone number and that uh, if you have already bought a course, another hack is just use a different phone number. So use your siblings, mother, father, anybody's phone number and you're good to go. Isn't it? Yes, Rasika, there are grammar classes as well. So it will help you with grammar also. My test is on Monday. Well, Zainab, then all the very best. Okay. All right. And uh, people who have their exam on Monday can still buy this course because with this, you'll be getting the fast track course for free. 
So there, whether you are a general student or academic, you will be getting a full course, and you'll be having grammar and spoken English, grammar by the person right in front of you, and spoken English by Mohammed sir. We'll be having academic full course by Manisha Mohammed, general course by Mekha. So all these courses, you will be getting this complimentary once you join this course. So even if you have your exam on Monday or this week, do join this because you'll be getting that complimentary, and that's a self-paced series. So you can watch it any time. You can watch it. You can finish it during the weekend. It's a forty-hour-long session. You can finish it during this weekend, and you're good to go for your exam. Yes. So there's another freebie uh, that Arvind sir has just told us about. Imagine a free fast-track course with something that is already free. Today is your lucky day. So yes, fast-track courses are pre-recorded videos. You can watch them at your own convenience, and there's a complete grammar course. that i have recorded there and it has 10 videos i've covered all the possible topics nouns pronouns sentence structures your um collocations um tenses conditionals right so every possible uh, topic that can be needed in the ielts exam i've covered it okay perfect thank you so much all of you for your kind words very very um happy to see them okay so yes how to book the exam through leap scholar so join us and we'll let you know okay yes vanna so vanna has her exam coming up soon let's quickly come back to reading okay let's quickly jump right back right where we left we'll come back to this i'll clear your uh, your course doubts later you can offers not going anywhere it's still there the entire night all right i'll clear your doubts let's come back to the passage So my next questions we have decided that we are going to pick question number eight to ten. Here, why? Because the questions in the middle are difficult. No, they are matching information questions. They are not may or may not be in order. So it's better if you have some idea of what's in a paragraph before you attempt them. So let's do sentence completion exactly. These questions are a little time consuming. So let's quickly jump to question number eight. This is how you should tackle your exam. Also remember this in the exam. Okay. Now question number eight. Here it is. Here you can see sentence completion instructions. No more than three words. Quickly let's mark the keywords. Can you tell me the keywords, uh, Sarvesh? Yes, Ayushi. What are the keywords? Canadian consumers may be unaware that food has been genetically modified because it needn't be dash. Very good. Again, Canadian and unaware. Perfect. All right. Second question: Genetic modification is expected to reduce global food shortage. by increasing the dash of food very good so it reduces the shortage and question is asking what does it increase perfect third question undesirable side effects of genetic engineering can be avoided by applying dash now you you have two keywords here so side effects can be avoided and applying what those are your keywords okay go ahead scan this is the first half of the passage okay very good excellent hey jambex and vatsal please be uh, you know courteous to each other don't 
let's not, you know, let's focus on IELTS. Okay, there's a war going on on YouTube. Hmm, okay. Great, so everybody's found the first question. Let's discuss. Perfect, Canadian consumers may be unaware. So I have to find that sentence. Oh, wait, yeah. So here I found uh, Canadians. Uh, here also I found it, right? So nothing like that. Here it says, in Canada, most of us don't know we are eating it. What is this it? GM food, right in the first sentence, GM food. Why don't we know it? Because GM food need not be, does not have to be, paraphrasing. What is the missing word? Labeled. So what is my first answer? First answer is labeled. You don't need to write as such. It is understood. That's all right. Okay, let's move to the second half now to find the second answer. Second half. Yes, Sarvesh, we are doing that. See, it's asking what will it increase? A lot of your writing, what it will decrease. Question is asking increase. Look at what's, what the question is asking. Increasing. Right? Oh, just a second. Sorry. Apologies. Okay, great. Second answer everybody's found. Third answer, yes, it's a little tricky. If you can't find it, it's okay. Make make a guess. Very good. Second answer. Yes, you found it. Third answer now. Have you found undesirable side effects? So yes, look for the, try to find the synonym of the word undesirable side effect. Venom Puli, uh, all the very best.
वेरी गुड सुभाषिनी एक्सेलेंट गुड प्रियंका प्रियंका चेक इज योर आंसर कंप्लीट आर यू मिसिंग समथिंग वेरी गुड राजी ओके ब्रिलियंट अलॉट ऑफ यू फाउंड इट गुड जॉब डन एवरी वन राजी सुग्रीव चेक इज योर आंसर कंप्लीट आर यू मिसिंग समथिंग गुड शुभा वेरी गुड प्रियंका समथिंग इज मिसिंग ओ वाव साईराम इज हैज वर्क्स और इज अ बायो टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट दैट्स लवली so nice he probably knew the answers as it is okay interesting wow yes parminder <laughs> all right okay yes janvi is getting impatient she says let's discuss the answers great so we'll discuss the answers second question was super easy genetic modification is expected to reduce the food shortage so let's first find this here it says they are convinced it to will so what is it here gm that means genetic modification genetically modified food so genetically modified food will solve that means reduce global food shortage the world's hunger problem so i found the first half by increasing what so here it says leading to a drop in but the question is not asking drop in it's asking by increasing what so look for the word increase here i found it boost the so what will it boost boost means increase what will it boost the dash of food the dash of foods what is the missing word nutritional content it will decrease the food shortage by boosting the nutritional content of food so that was your answer okay it will create super weeds and bugs yes but that is not not how the global food shortage is being decreased look at the question isn't it all right third question was tricky i agree undesirable side effects of genetic engineering right so here this entire passage is talking about the undesirable side effects the entire passage right it says here you can see um further research showed that this wasn't the only cause for concern that means there can be some serious problems as well right here it says but if you read this entire thing you can't find anything like this how how the problems can be avoided so here it mentions if you see others say it could be the result of how the potatoes were grown right so promoters can turn on the wrong gene promoters are genetic material they can turn on the wrong gene activate the wrong gene others say that it could be the result of how potatoes were grown where are the solutions we are looking for the solution here it says there are too many variables to blame too many reasons to blame the genetic engineering process alone so this entire thing is talking about problems i need the solution here it says still some believe that the potential problems so the side effects with promoters promoters were genetic material that means with genetic engineering with promoters are so well known that existing safeguards can prevent them can prevent them means can oh stop them or solve them so what is solving what is what are we applying existing safeguards so what is a safeguard safeguard means something that is in process to save something that is something that is in place to prevent something from going wrong something that safeguards the meaning is in the name itself right safe guards so what is the answer not not just safe guards the answer is existing safe guards why was this difficult why was the answer difficult because look at the question there were very less synonyms and paraphrasing was extreme 
right? Okay, let's quickly now jump to uh, matching information. So the questions that we left, here they are, right? So here are your questions four to seven, okay? You have to find which paragraph has these, has this information. Uh, quickly, mark the keywords. So fourth question, what's the keyword? Genetic modification is the continuation of a traditional farming practice. So now you, the meaning should be there, right? So find something which means the same as traditional farming practice. Scientific advances have sometimes had disastrous consequences. So find which passage has, says that there were disastrous consequences. The alarming results of one genetic modification and the benefits to the environment of some GM crops. So find which information is there in which paragraph. You just have to write C, D, E, or F. Found? Number four, very good. So everybody's found four, that was quick. Fourth was easy, yes, I agree. Yes, Raji. Okay, second was also easy. You found it. Very good. Good Rahul, good Sharfuddin, good Raji. Raji, uh, check your second, uh, the fifth question again. Devanshu, you've written one. Uh, the question numbers are four to seven. Sorry, one second. There was something hiding the screen. Okay, let's discuss. Okay, uh, question number four was super easy. It said genetic modification is the continuation. Continuation means that tradition, um, it's something that comes after, right? It's just a continued step of traditional farming practice, isn't it? So here it says farmers, you, just the first sentence is telling you farmers and plant breeders have used genetically modified food for centuries. And they have refined the foods we eat through selective crossbreeding, combining different types of wheat, right? And eliminating weaker varieties. So what is this? It is just the same thing being continued, right? Farming practice being continued. That is genetic modification. It's just another, a second step of the traditional farming practice. So this is C. Good job done. A lot of you found it. Fifth, scientific advances have sometimes had disastrous consequences. Here it is such tampering with nature makes people anxious. So you know that maybe this passage paragraph could have it. Right here it says, um, nuclear power, toxic insecticide, DDT, anti-nausea drug, thalidomide, left babies without limbs, and a host of other things. Right, so what, are, what were all of these? nuclear power, toxic insecticide, these are all, these were scientific advances that had disastrous consequences. So this is D. Okay, now uh, look at paragraph E. It says it talks about uh, GM food being a move in the right direction. That means, yes, it is talking about the benefits of GM food. It improves health, environment and economy. Great. So here, number seven, says the benefits of GM food to the environment, 
focus on the environment if you skim through the passage it is not giving you what benefits did gm crops have on the environment it is just stating in one sentence that it improves the environment but is it telling you what benefits to the environment are there of some gm crops no that means 6 and 7 the answer are not in this paragraph so let's move to the next paragraph paragraph f of course there are more number of paragraphs right great very good sixth answer we found it easy perfect so here right here it says and the alarming results of one genetic modification here it says gm products pose some problems so we know that it's going to be here and it says uh, the engineered potatoes did nasty things to the rats that they were tested on right and um the rats that ate the potatoes ended up with stunted growth and suppressed immune system and more it was causing serious problems in development of organs also so yes alarming results of one genetic modification which is f now look for the seventh answer it says benefits to the environment what is paragraph g doing just read the first sentence a little scientific background might explain why this situation happened that means paragraph g is explaining why this problem in the rat happened so no that means paragraph g won't talk about the benefits so let's move to the next one next last paragraph where is my last paragraph okay yes that is the last paragraph it's in the, it's on the same page all right yes so the last line is is being uh, cut yes but you can still read it right the first sentence of the paragraph itself tells you that it's giving you the bright side the good things of the gm crops and here it says international service for the acquisition of agri biotech that's another hint agri agriculture right bt maize has increased yields in fields it has it has increased the productivity and there may be an environmental plus too so there is an ad environmental advantage as well so that means my answer number 7 is paragraph h all right any doubts okay great so that is all for today's session count how many did you get right in this mock test out of 10 tell me your marks tell me how many you got correct and i'll tell you how good was that all right so how many did you get right 6 9 7 seven, 7 5 okay see because this was reading and i understand the passage was a little difficult but it can be even more difficult anybody who got Eight and above, you are at a good track. You're going well. You may not even need coaching. All right. Anybody who did not score a band, uh, um, an eight from the ten, you you need to practice a little. Right. Okay. And of course, anybody who scored nine or ten, definitely brilliant. High five, virtual high five, pat on the back. Good job done. Very good. All right. great so thank you so much everyone for joining me once again my batch is live you can join it by using this link that i am pasting once again right here okay i'm pasting it just go to the link use the code dm live and you will get it for 0 rupees absolutely free okay my telegram will only be shared once you join the batch okay So yes do join me there i would love to see you on 31st 
if you have already taken a free batch you can use another phone number to get another one for free we have more courses live so there are a lot of courses uh, getting two batches at the same time will increase the number of writing evaluations that you can get so if you want more writing evaluations just use another phone number click on the link use the code dm live and increase your writing and speaking evaluations okay thank you so much lerika you are you're very kind uh yes thank you so much is there a two week program for ielts yes raji we do have some um let me see yes we have a two week foundation course as i said this one this is a two week course so if you're short on time you should go for this one and yes if you're already at an advanced stage you're looking at scoring a Uh, you know a higher band 8 or 8.5 i would recommend going for a plus program lovely thank you so much great i would be so happy to see all of you and thank you everyone i shall now take your leave it's going to be midnight so good job done burning the midnight oil i'll see you on 31st every one bye bye take care oh that's brilliant ayushi he's the best bye bye venan puli bye bye